Hey guys, it's Nunez. The tree of the knowledge of good and evil was the tree that the Lord said Adam and Eve should not partake of. Why? Because in that day that they partake and eat of its fruit, they shall surely die. Now, the tree presents a duality, two sides of the same coin, good and evil. When we are walking according to the flesh, when we are carnal minded, we display attributes belonging to this tree. Okay. This is not the tree of life. The tree of life is a whole nother tree. It represents Jesus Christ and the fruit that he gives, the fruit of the spirit, which is not found in the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Many times when we think about sin, we forget that <laughs> sin has two sides. You know how people say, oh, I'm, I want to just be a good person. And when I die, go to a good place, right? Well, being a good person doesn't earn you heaven. It doesn't earn you eternal life. That's not the way to receive everlasting life. That's not the way to salvation. Being good is not the same as being in Christ. Being good is not the same as God's righteousness. It's not the same as his imputed righteousness, holiness. Mm -mm. So when people who are religious boast in the things that they do that are quote unquote good, boast in serving for the Lord. Um, they're boasting in their flesh. The flesh, you got to remember, does good. But it doesn't mean it's godly. It doesn't mean that the good performance that we do by our flesh is acceptable in the eyes of God. We have to remember that when we come to Jesus Christ, the whole point of the cross was that we were crucified with him. He crucified our flesh, the flesh that thrived from the fruit of the knowledge of, of, of good and evil, of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. The flesh consumes the fruit of that tree. So when you boast in your flesh, when you boast in your religious works, when you boast in the love that you may have for God, when you boast in the things you do for God, those are the works of the flesh. Because you are believing that those things you do 
mean the world to God. When in actuality, the only work that means the world to him is the finished work on the cross that Jesus performed. Jesus Christ is the only one that pleases the Father. This is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. Hear him. Hear him. So all we must do is partake of the tree of life. All we must do is eat of the fruit of Christ, the fruit of his spirit. Jesus, Jesus is the tree of life. We have to rest under his shade. We must eat of him. When you do, and you understand that it's all about him, it's all about what he did alone, it's all about our faith in him alone. We walk by faith. We don't walk according to the law. We don't walk according to our flesh. And our flesh has two sides. We have to come to the end of ourselves. We have to reckon our flesh dead and crucified in Christ. Dead and buried, destroyed. And realize that the only life I have is the one in Christ, is the life that he gives me. It's his life in me. It's no longer I that lives, but Christ that lives in me. The law was there to school me and lead me to Christ. The law is a signboard pointing to Jesus. And when I reach him, when I receive him through the gospel, it's a walk of faith. I live by faith in him and trust that he has completed the work on my behalf. There's nothing more I have to do. He is my salvation. He has sanctified me completely. And he is my reward. So remember that our flesh is utterly sinful. There's no need to salvage it in any way. No. We have to put it aside, move it out of the way. and focus on Jesus. Every dead thing has no place in the tree of life. And that includes our flesh. All right, I love you guys, bye-bye.